All right, in today's quick tip, we're gonna be looking at making a lower third on the go in Final Cut Pro. So if you're in a dash to finish a project and you quickly need to put a couple lower thirds on, then this might be a quite useful technique for you. So we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna make our project 30 frames a second. And now I'm gonna just bring in my footage here. So for this lower third, what we're gonna be using is one of the default titles, which we will then customize. So go into your titles then go into build in, build out, and you wanna go and find drifting. So I'm gonna bring that in here. And the cool thing about this uh, setup is that we can actually extend it for however long we want it to be on screen for. So we're gonna have it just short before it cuts off there, so maybe four seconds and 25 frames. So what I'm gonna do first of all is just make it smaller so that it fits into the section of the screen that I want it to be in. So first I'll scale that down, not too much, and then move this over to the left here. Then what I'm gonna do is change the font. Now it's important to use a font that is quite blocky uh, in order to get the desired effect and you'll see why that is a bit later. But what I'm gonna use is a font called Kenyan Coffee or rather Kenya Coffee I think it is. I will link that in the description as well so you can use it. And then also change it to the bottom one. Now we can also vary the two titles in terms of their font weight. So the first one we'll have bold and the second one we'll just have as regular. Now what I'm going to do is change the text. So I'll double click on title and I'll change that to David Brown. And then below that, I'm going to just call him manager. Now what you want to do is double click on the first word, then go into the setting over here. And we're going to be using outline. So I'll tick that on, go down and I'm going to pull the width out quite a bit. And then also for the top part, I'll just double click, select it all, tick outline on, and then go down here and just make that width go all the way out. Now what you can also do is double click on manager and I might wanna actually put a bit of baseline there so that there's a bit of space between the two. And you can also just maybe even put a space one if you want it to be offset just a bit. So this is what we've got so far for us. And if that's all you want, that's fine as well. But what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna change this so that the top one is an inverted color to the bottom one. And we're also gonna animate it out in a different way. Uh, so let's first turn off build out so that it stays on right till the very end. And then what I wanna do is, let's first do the animation and then we'll change the colors. So what we're gonna do is animate the position keyframe. So I'm going to go in here and keyframe so I'm gonna go here rather, uh, then keyframe the position and then go forward, where are we? We 224, let's go, uh, this should do. And then we are just gonna pull it down. And now I'm gonna zoom a little bit out so I can see the keyframes. Uh, I'm gonna go and say transform. Now what I wanna do is right click on this one and I'm gonna say linear and then I'm gonna change that to smooth so that this pointer comes up. I'm gonna pull this one up here, linear, and then right click and say smooth. Click and drag that out down to the bottom. So now if I play that part from over here, so now it just looks like a smooth out but that's not exactly what I wanted. So let's go back to the first point and right click say linear, then click say smooth. I just do that every time because I can't seem to find the point. But yeah, let's see how that works. So there we go, we've got a little pop up and then it comes off. Now we can work a little bit more on smoothing that out but I'm actually quite happy with that movement. So what I'm gonna do now is copy and paste the title. And why I'm doing that is because I want one title to be the top line and the second title to be the second line. So on the top line, I'm gonna have David Brown and on the second line, it will be manager. So with the first one selected, I'll double click on manager and I'll just delete all of that. And then on the second one, I'll just double click on David Brown, select all, and then delete that. So now on the second one, what I can actually do is go in, in here and find our outline. So now we can actually change our colors to something else. Let's see if we can find a color scheme that suits our palette here. So we're gonna go with a white and purple. So I'm gonna just copy this color and then press exit there. And then on David Brown, what I want that is to be white on the outside and purple on the middle. 
So I'm just going to double click on the text, uh, hit Command A to select all, uh, then go into face and then select that color and paste it there. Then on outline, I'll double click on that just to drop it down. And instead of red, we're going to go with white. And then the last thing I want to do is offset the top title by two frames. So I'll just click, hold and drag out by two frames. And that's that. What I really like about this technique now is that you can actually copy and paste these lower thirds further down and they auto adjust. So if you have a different name, you'll see that the back plate will automatically adjust to that. So let's say for example, we just put Brian Flanagan in here. And as you can see, the rectangle is auto adjusting to the text behind it over there. If you're looking for more auto adjusting lower thirds like this, make sure you check our product Hype Lower Thirds out. The link's in the description. And if you want more quick tips for Final Cut Pro, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.